Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were looking for Bastila's father's equipment, and we probably found it. This is the only thing that's new since we were last here. So, uh, here we are. Open it up, and has a holocron. Alright. We took that. How can I help? Talk to Bastila about it. Uh, do you want to talk? About my mother. I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. Are you going to give the crawl uh, holocron to her? Holocron. <laughs> Caloron. That was about what I was about to say. Yeesh. Uh, are you going to give the holocron to her? Do you think I should? Do you need it more than she does? I would like to keep something to remember father as much as she would. I'll think about it. I should try and remember my training. I should be able to let go of this, but I can't. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. Alrighty. What, what was the new thing? It's been found in desert still intact. Bastila is unsure, however, whether she intends to give it back to her mother. Part of her keeps thinks she should keep it for herself. Man, I cannot talk today. She and her father were very close. Either way, it is probably a good idea to return to the mother at Cantina. Yeah, that's probably true. Alrighty. Well, there's all the uh, speeders and whatnot we had to deal with earlier. Now, oh, kind of foisted to the side over there. Alright. And... Man, the desert is boring. <laughs> There's almost nothing going on other than the dewbacks. Man, oh man. Alright. Let us get back. Hopefully soon. Do I have speed? <laughs> uh, I wasn't considering it because of the weird blur effect it does to the screen, but now I'm starting to wonder. Alright, I'm starting to wonder. Maybe I should have gotten it because it would have been best overall. Probably. Oh, well, there's a whole bunch of more raids that I'm not going to go after. Because it's not worth it. I mean, they get progressively harder and harder, and the only thing I get out of it is just 24 credit raid plates. It's not worth it. Although, that money does add up. Uh, Mun's money. Uh, okay. All right. My greed has convinced me. God damn it! <laughs> now I f sound like an asshole when I push my Patreon. <laughs> Uh, but it's only in-game months, okay? It's not like I'm doing it for everything, right? Alright. There we go. That'll work. And Hula Raid. Alrighty. Let's do it. Oh, that didn't work at all. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, jeez. Oh, hell's bells. Alright. Oh. Ow. Oh my god. They are doing so much damage to me. Oh my fucking... Okay, well, I'm dead. Okay, well... This is why I didn't want to do it. 
This is why I didn't want to do it. Alright, you know what? At this point, it's time to run. Alright. You... Okay, that didn't work at all. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're out. <laughs> We're out. Done with this. Dunion rings. There's no way this would have turned out well. There's no way it would have turned out well. Fuck it. Can't at least escape, right? Can't escape to the city, right? Oh, man, I hope so. Oh, man, I hope so. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, man. All right, it's time to cower it out. Time to really cower it out here. What? Oh, come on. Okay, there's no way in hell I can do that then. All right. Okay. Do you maybe back off, guy? Please. Fuck, it had to be the strongest one, too. It's still fucking going after me. Jeez. <laughs> There's no chance. There's no chance. Oh, my... Still. Still. Still you do this shit. Could you not? Could you not? Please. All right. Uh. Okay. That was about what I expected. Okay. All righty. Let's try this again. Auto save is still working. Okay. Should I do it again? No. No, I learned my lesson. They just keep getting stronger and the credits aren't worth it. Just no longer worth it. Alrighty. <sighs> it sucks, though, because I would really, really, really like to go after those credits. But not at the detriment of causing the entire episode to tank. <laughs> because I decided to be a hard ass about it. All right, let's get into Anchorhead. Let's go to the cantina. And uh, we'll see how it plays out between her and her mother. It's only one way to find out if it's going to go badly or not. Just do it. Alrighty. Back already. Have you even looked for the holocron yet? I have the holocron, wow. mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No. I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now. For both our benefit. 
maybe you should listen to what she has to say, because I'm starting to think maybe your time apart warped your memories a tad bit. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, Mother. Maybe one of you should be the first to give the other a break. You're right. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. My father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. Yet you let your husband go on these dangerous expeditions. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the Order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you. Your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but... Your treatments? I'm dying, Master. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming. And there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go. But you know how he was. Stubborn. Like you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastila. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked to you. Oh, no. You said you had important business. And you were never one to mince words. You there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? As if she'd let me. You make her let you. She's too much like her father in that respect. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after... after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again, when we can talk. Oh, all right, I will. You do what you have to, Bastila. You go, make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell, Mother. Aww. That went beautifully. Aww. And the quest is done. Okay. You willing to talk? Bastila? How can yeah. I help? You feel better now? Yes. That brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. Well, I mean, hey. Dub. Alright. How can I help? I, th I thought... I thought we were done, but I guess we're not. Why did the Council send me with you on this mission? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Mm. Besides, the events on Taurus prove that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough I, for you? I don't think I like that concept. That the Force will determine your fate whether you like it or not. Mm. <laughs> the first one I just read the full one. Uh, if the force wants us to be together, why do you keep resisting my undeniable charms? I said we were brought together for our mission to stop Malak. Mm -hmm. I hardly think the force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please, are you sure? Focused. I doubt the council would approve if they knew we sure? were discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving the galaxy from Malak. Mutual attraction? I knew you were interested in me. Mutual attraction? I never said. Yes, it's you did. Just an expression. Uh huh. Whatever our feelings, I mean, whatever your feelings, you have to uh -huh. ignore them. I save. This complicate things. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only. You, you're the one complicating things. Forge in defeating Malak. The council explained all this quite clearly. I have the biggest shit-eating grin right now. You just don't understand. 
This is my flirting style to a god's damn T. <laughs> this is why I'm single. Alright. <laughs> it just seems odd they would send me off without a master to guide me. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the council to test my own abilities. Hmm. I get the feeling that there's more going on than I know. I wondered if the council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then mm. I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the council explained, sending a Master in our group could only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate True. of the galaxy is at stake. The council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks and in the end chose the only option available. I guess it makes sense. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Me? You're the one who thought this was her big audition for masterhood. Must you be so frustrating? Yes. I admit I had a moment of foolish pride I must be. over it. Now I am focused on my true responsibilities. I'm okay. I'm simply trying to help you and complete this mission, and yet you battle me at every turn. But can I say it's fun? 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 Driving me insane is your idea of a good time? Yeah, a little. <laughs> it's like I said, it's my flirting style. Driving me chicks insane until they're like, oh, fine. <laughs> Careful, remember your self control. You are a very odd man. Do you know that? Yeah. We don't know how to deal with you. All I want to do is help you, but you seem determined to drive me mad. Yeah. <laughs> Complain all you want, but I know you love it. I don't know if I should be outraged that you keep joking about serious matters, or if I should be grateful that you can always lighten the mood. Come on, come, let's move on. There's much to be done. <laughs> oh, I am such a prick. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. I think that concludes furthering the relationship with Bastila. Pretty sure I could do that with Karth at some point, too. I'm just not sure if it'll be before I get off planet or not. Since I have the star map, I have no real reason to be on Tatooine other than this. So. Alrighty, well. Let's get onto the ship. I was about to say, that was a rather long loading. Usually it doesn't load that long. Let's talk to HK. He's on Statement. the ship now. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Fair enough. I'd like to know more about your functionality. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Really? I thought you said that removing your restraining bolt would restore your memory. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. Hmm. So you technically lied to me. Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I ah. assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, Master? Hmm. Fair enough. How do you, how can you not know parts of your functionality? Answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. Is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards hmm. installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So I can restore your memory? Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, 
but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would mm. still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Hmm. So you're saying that your memory might just come back? Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master, but there is no way to know. It is quite possible hmm. that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair and understandable, considering a meat bag was uh, involved in my lost memory. I would absolutely want to myrtleize them. Fair enough. So how do I go about restoring part of your memory? Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. Absolutely. Uh, I would like to try restoring some of it. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. I can attempt Request. it, yeah. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Okay, okay. Are you implying that I am inept? Negatory. Uh, no, Master. <laughs> you are not a droid, however, and therefore your skills are limited by the physical capabilities of your meatbag extremities, or some such. I happen to be very good at what I do, and what I do isn't very nice. Appeasement. Yes, Master. Of course, Master. Could we begin? <laughs> I don't think I like that qualification of appeasement there, but okay. Uh, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. Okay, we might be able to do it. And now rewire the last three relays. Hey, we yes, did it. good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous owner, Master. Previous Would you owner. like to hear it? Sure. Yeah, let's hear it. Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for SizeTech Corporation. I am okay. unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. Hmm. Why can't you identify the acquaintance? Explanation. That previous owner is part of memories that are still deleted, Master. It is customary for droids' memories to be wiped when it is sold. Fair enough. Is he still alive? Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. I see. Why? What happened? Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. Okay. He was pleased by the discovery. The okay. They informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. Okay. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. Tell me about this assassination protocol. Information. This HK-47 unit is complete with protocol that, when invoked, will set me to independently carry out a termination. I will go to whatever lengths, travel whatever distances are required to complete the termination. This is the reason for my combat skills. Advisement. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the assassination protocol is currently non-functional. You will not be able to activate it. Fair enough. Why not? Answer. Several of my actuators were damaged by my former owner. They cannot be repaired, Master. Sad though that is. My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of SizeTech Corporation, my master's own employer. It did not take long for my master to realize his mistake. By then, oh. I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Woo! You killed 104 people. Statement. It was nothing really, master. The majority of them were not even expecting it, and I moved very quickly. I do not know why my master was so quickly. He was an officer of SizeTech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. 
Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. Gotcha. And that's when you killed him. Objection? Naturally not, Master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. Okay. My master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting oh. shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. I don't think he was as lucky as you think. Query. Do you know what the chances are of puncturing that soul actuator? I would have congratulated my master were he not sizzling and incoherent at the time. I shut down immediately gotcha. whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, size tech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. Gotcha. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. <laughs> Didn't they know what you had done? Statement. How could they? The vast majority of the officers had already been terminated. They likely assumed I was mere chattel. Hmm. That's probably painful for you to say. Hmm. Uh, did you recover any other memories? I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. Fair For now, not. please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. Okay. Hey, he has a permanent plus two bonus to his dexterity. Hells yes. Good, we did a good thing. Uh, let's take a look at what we can do for our lightsaber. Huh? I mean, we got the crate dragon pearl here. Which is pretty damn good. Alright. It's currently equipped with the robot. Let's switch that out with the crate dragon pearl. Perfect. Hmm. I don't know which one I want more. Hmm. Plus three to damage, then... Massive criticals, additional damage on critical hit. I think I like that one. So this one will do more damage and it's on the main hand. This one will hit more likely and do a significant amount of damage, but not too much. Uh, we might actually change out that stun because that's not actually helping us as much as it used to. Um, and just have a Rubat crystal there. That might work. Um, I can't believe I never upgraded hers with crystals. Weird. Alright, um... Yeah, let's do that. That'll work. That'll work, I think. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Um, Ordo's Repeating Blaster, Karth's, Bendax, Salbars. It's, that's not even equipped on anyone, so might as well do this. Cool. Uh, uh yeah, cool. Alright. That's done. That's done. That's done. Okay. Mildly upgraded and more Gizka. Ugh. All over the damn ship, aren't they? No one in here. All right. Well, we helped uh, HK get a little bit more of his memory. Um, 
mission. Let's talk to you. Hey there. What can I do for you? Uh, I wanted to talk about your brother. I'm worried about Griff and his latest plan. I got a bad feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Teresian ale. And now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes yeah. Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's coming to him. Uh... Let the exchange take care of that slime. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might True. kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. Yeah. He just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Yeah. True. No one can ever teach him that lesson. He has to learn it himself. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not going to change him. Griff is going to keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. Mm -hmm. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's all we can do. How did I get light side points out of that? That didn't feel very light side, half of what I was saying. But okay. <laughs> see, his best little, uh... A little Come better now. Up. You look like you have something to say. I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. Okay. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. Aww. <laughs> you, <laughs> what was that? I think I'm going deaf. You better say that again. You're teasing me. You know very well what I said. A little. <laughs> Just still reeling from the shock. Was that a compliment? Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. It's just that you sounded so pained to say it. Did I? I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. May have been? I am trying my best. You're not making this easy for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Since when have you ever made things easy for me? I see. Is there nothing I can do to make it up to you? I would rather we were friends. Oh? How close a friend would you like to be? I, you know I can't feel that way about you. About oh. any man. It isn't permitted. I am a Jedi. I must resist these temptations. But I still want to consider you a friend. We could... We could never be anything more, though. That, that isn't allowed. I'd like that, then, I suppose. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must a be bit. getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. <laughs> it's ironic, really. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, edgy, critical, and overly secretive. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, nonsense. You're not that self-absorbed. Self Fucking. Fuck my mouth. <laughs> okay. Nonsense. You're not self-absorbed or stodgy. Well, that's kind of you to say, but I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. You 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 do realize we can be more. You don't have to follow the rules that stringently. Please, it's, it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi ideal. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I maybe I shouldn't have said anything. No. <laughs> I I'm glad you did. I care for you too, as a well, friend. Well, it was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel, I feel much better. Good. But enough soul searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. Okay. Well, apologized for her earlier attitude and has admitted how much she respects and admires you as a person and a Jedi. Whether this will change anything between you remains to be seen. And successfully tampering with HK-47's memory core has recovered the droid's memory of the most recent owner. The dissolution of the owner's company and auctioning of his assets must be how HK-47 ended up in the droid shop on Tatooine. 
How the droid got to the executive, however, is unknown. How is my repair skill? Uh, 13. I might be able to learn more. But we'll have to save that for the next episode. Because we are a bit over time. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and supporting the channel. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... Helping HK find his memory, helping Bastila get over herself and her mother's, uh, hate, well, it was a hatred of her mother, technically, and, uh, managed to patch things up between them, and, uh, yeah, it was very productive, and Bastila admits that she likes me, even though she realizes she can't technically like me, she likes me, she likes me, which is weird because I've been kind of an asshole. But that's kind of my flirting style, so it's whatever for you.